play tag. Oh, he gets underneath them. Oh, two cars came off the corner as one. Jeff Gordon will lead that lap, but will he lead the next one? Nope. Earnhardt Jr. to the lead, nine laps to go, 110,000 on oh, their feet here in Phoenix. Is that Casey Kane in the wall? The red car brushed the wall off turn two. Brushed it pretty hard. And smoking. I think it is. Casey Kane is in the eighth spot. That is Sterling Marlin in the 40. He is not on the lead lap. He's a 27th place car, the first to lap down. See some the left front tire smoking on Casey Kane's car. He's knocked the fender in on the tire, made contact with another car, I'm sure. He hits the brakes. And Junior is cruising. And Casey Mears is still out there. Ryan Newman back there looks like he's passing some cars. Oh, man. Not pictured. Jeremy Mayfield with a flat tire and almost caused the pileup trying to get to pit road. He hung a hard left to get to the pit lane, and there were some cars at top speed coming up on him in a hurry. Look at Casey Kane driving up on the outside of Rusty Wallace. <laughs> At sixth place. Oh, who's that? Casey, oh, Casey Mears. Mears. The left rear finally goes. Caution is out. Yep. Matt, he did have a left rear going down. Remember, these cars do not run inner liners as Robbie Gordon blows up as well. These cars do not run inner liners here at Phoenix. And when he entered turn one, it was on the rim. Well. Post of 31, I said, can you imagine that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> NASCAR said post of 31, in other words, tell the 31 to get off the racetrack because uh, he's smoking excessively. Post, the term they use for putting the car number up on a board at the start-finish line, showing which car is receiving the black flag. <laughs> <laughs> tell you what, there won't be mosquitoes around here for weeks. Well, Robbie, you had a good drive for most of the day. Yeah, he did. A good run. And Casey Mears did, too, until this. Just watch the left rear right there. Just blew out and you try to hang on, but you're not. He was steering away. You're long for the ride. That's too bad. Was in position for a career best next L Cup finish. Not now. He has climbed from the car and is uh, walked over to the ambulance for the ride to the infield medical center. Come on, we're, we're looking at a little overtime here. Yes, we are. Only have four more laps, but uh, they're not going to be able to get this track cleaned up in that length of time. So there will be a green white checker to end this race. Seems like we're getting a lot of those. Jeremy Mayfield still not gotten to pit road to get that left rear changed. Well, he's on the lead lap. 24th position. He's trying to maintain that. And I guess he can run fast enough to keep up with the field. All three tires. In the meantime, though, he's scattering debris everywhere. Scattering stuff. And he still doesn't go to pit road. Uh -oh. And pit road is open. Right. I feel like they've got too much... They aren't that far in front of the pace car, so they've got to make up some more time on the pace car before they can stop. 24 cars on the lead lap. Any takers? Certainly not at the front of the pack. You know, just a few laps ago, they had the decisions. Pit, change tires or not to pit. And the driver, as all drivers always do, they want those fresh tires. But Tony Urey Jr. and Sr. said, look, you're going to be okay because those guys that get tires, it's going to take them some time to get through the traffic. Bobby Labonte was the first car to get tires. He has just gotten his way up to the seventh position. 
There is so much stuff scattered around this racetrack. Debris and oil and the rest. They're going to stop the field over in turn three. Get the oil covered with the oil dry. And then get the jet blowers out to try and clean up the mess so we can get these final few laps run. We saw Kurt Busch, the 97 car, go by. He chose not to stop on that pit stop and change tires. And he had gotten up as far as seventh position. But now he's back to tenth because those cars that stop, they have the fresh tires on. They're passing the 97 car from Kurt Busch. So for the second time in this race, the red flag is out here at Phoenix. First one was because of rain. It lasted about a half an hour. And this one because the track's a mess. <laughs> and, and another day in the chase for the next L Cup that these standings have shuffled up and down all day long. Yeah, Jeff Gordon was in front not too long ago. Probably change again in three laps. Yeah, exactly. Dale Earnhardt Jr. could uh, gain a little ground after his troubles in Atlanta and Martinsville. And Jimmy Johnson still in the mix. He's up to eighth place after getting behind earlier. Matt? The Yearys up on top of the pit box, all quiet. Car's looking pretty good, Tony. Going to have a shootout here. Yep, I guess we... Uh going to have us about a three-lap shootout probably the time they get it going. Uh, you know, we held him off that time, so hopefully we can hold him off again. Uh, by we don't break anything or miss a gear on the restarts, you know, that can always happen. But hopefully we'll get a clean restart and get away from him and uh, get this Budweiser Chevrolet and Victory Lane over where it belongs. Trying for back-to-back -back wins here at Phoenix, Dave. Robbie Lewis trying to guide Jeff Gordon to his first victory here at Phoenix, and Robbie had to give up the lead. What's Jeff got left? Yeah, that was real unfortunate. The, the eight car's just a little bit better than this right there at the end. And, uh, you know, the DuPont Chevrolet's been great all day. It's just a matter of, uh, it's going to be wild here, this one-lap shootout probably. And uh, we keep that baby in one piece right here. Life is a team sport. This, this is what's really on our hearts. and Just got to get everything we get. Robbie told him, do what you do. Take care of yourself on the radio. Referencing the life is a team sport is a uh, blue wristband that... Uh, they sell it uh, for charity donations that benefits the Hendrick Mar Merrill program, and that's been uh, the memorials uh, requests of the Hendrick family after the accident of a couple of weeks ago. So we sit under the red flag with less than five laps to go. How did we get here? We see contact between the 24 car and Kevin Hart, 22nd lap of the race. The Goat Jr. takes over the lead from Ryan Newman. Ryan Newman was very strong first part of this race. Just past the one third point, Matt Kenseth with the first of his problems on the day. This one would turn out to be minor compared to the one that put him out of the race later. And, and then, then rain. Rain. Red flag for about 25 minutes, but back to racing and Ryan Newman has a right front tire. Something wrong with it, has to make an unscheduled stop. Jeff Gordon became the driver in the midsection of the race that spent time out in front here, taking the lead away from Elliott Sadler. Lots of troubles in this one, and this one almost cleaned out the championship leader, Kurt Busch. And 42 car McMurray spun, so did the 97, the 6, the 0, and all those cars really didn't hit too much. Just slight contact. Yep, they had a right front problem, and they fought back hard since then. They're up in the eighth spot right now. Kurt Busch just in front of this when Scott Riggs got together with Ken Schrader and went for a loop, bringing out a caution flag. But through all this, we got guys on different pit stop schedules that kind of shuffled Dale Earnhardt Jr. back into the middle of the field. There we see Elliott Sadler brush the wall off turn four. The right front tire goes flat and into turn one wall hard. One of several championship contenders that had trouble today. Here's another. Ran out of fuel. About one lap. If he stopped one lap short, ran out of fuel, it cost him a lot of track position. Just after that happened, this spin brought out the caution flag and trapped Kurt a lap down, well back in the pack. He Johnny. stayed on track. I was just say Johnny Sauter got a little bit loose off of turn two. Got tagged, foot in the wall. And that caution brought Kurt Busch back into the mix. And now, yeah, you're right. That left rear tire, that problem was minor compared to the blown engine on the 17 car.
Jamie McMurray, Dale Jarrett getting together. McMurray going for a spin in the late laps. This brought out caution number 10 of 11. And on the restart, the winning, well, I shouldn't say winning, the pass for the lead was made. Yeah, win's not over yet. Yeah. And then the, they told the 41 car that he had a left rear tire that was low on air. He decided to try to ride it out the final 10 laps. At the same time he crashes in turn one, Robbie Gordon blows an engine. So garbage scattered everywhere around the racetrack. And that brings us under the red flag with about four and a half laps to go. Tough day for a lot of these guys in the championship. A lot of things to overcome. I mean, all these guys have had so much, but most of these guys have come back. Obviously, Kenseth and Sadler will not. Dave. With Matt Borland now, crew chief for the 12. You had to coach your team back into this race a bit earlier. How is the car now, and is the team ready to win this thing? Uh, the car's pretty good right now. Uh, we unfortunately got a little bit behind there, but, uh, you know, he's come back, fought through the field, and uh, hopefully we'll get a good finish out of this thing. Ryan said the car will be okay a few laps ago. What do you mean by that? Uh, I think he's ready to go. He's going to get everything he's got, and uh, we'll see what happens here in the last two-lap shootout. He was one of those guys that put it on lap 224, small adjustment, and taking it from there. Marty? Casey Mears has come from the Infield Care Center, and how soon did you know you had a left rear flat, and did you have enough time to make a pit stop even uh, when they did tell you? Yeah, well, yeah I, I knew actually in uh, one and two, you know, I felt like I had a left rear flat. I didn't know quite which, which end, and, uh, but all, all the cars on the inside lined up on the inside right before getting ready to go green. And the way I look at it, I mean, we're 20-something in points, you know, and, and uh, might not have been the smartest thing to do. I, I told Jimmy that I had a flat. He didn't want to believe it. You know, we just haven't had our luck this year. Every time we've been up front, you know, it's just something like that's happened. And I said, you know what, screw it. We're going to go out there, and uh, if I can bring this thing home, a top five, top ten, if I wreck, I don't care. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for, the t for a top five finish. So, um, you know, 30th finish wouldn't have done us anything in the points. It wouldn't have done me any anything as a driver. So we went for it. I wrecked. And I just hate it for Target. Everybody involved. I mean, a lot of people from Target here this weekend, Bob Ulrich, um, had a really good car, had a lot of fun today. And, uh, you know, this isn't our year, but uh, hopefully we'll come back and get them next year. Bill? Well, three laps to go now in the 8 and the 24, ready to battle it out with Ryan Newman, Harvick, and the 9 of Casey Kane right behind them. These fans in Arizona follow NASCAR racing all year long, but they have to wait until November to come out and get a taste of the stars in person. They have come out today, rain this morning, over 100,000 have stayed, and here's their payoff. They get to see the green flag finish. The cars have been red flagged here to set up the finish. And Alan, correct me if I'm wrong here, but this technically is not the green, white checkered finish, so we might go through this twice. Well, it, you know, they had said in the past when they put the green, white checkered finish rule into play that they wouldn't use the red flag to, to stop the cars late in the race, but I think in this case, they just had so much trash around the track, they had to make an exception to that. Yeah, I agree with you, and this is this is really a reward for these fans because they right now they only have the one race a year. They've come out here, and they're going to get the excitement that they paid to see, and that's hopefully the green flag finish here between two of the biggest stars of the sport, and then the other guys, you know, other stars like Ryan Newman and uh, the 29 of Harvick and Kane and the other guys there. So this is what the sport is all about, making sure the fans are rewarded for their loyal support, and that's what they're going to get here. Well, it's good somebody likes it, Bill, because I guarantee the guys with the helmets don't. <laughs> what are they thinking, Wally? Well, I mean, I just don't, you know, you're just setting yourself up for like a two or three lap shootout, and that's when a lot of times people unplug their brains, so to speak. So That's the knucklehead factor? That's the knucklehead it? factor okay. you were talking about earlier. <laughs> I mean, you know, the, obviously the guy in second place likes the idea, but um, I don't really think the drivers are a big fan of it. Well, the, fan, the drivers probably aren't, but again, the fans are. And, and that's who keeps all this thing going, the, are the fans. Are you a fan of it? Oh, yeah, I love it. Oh, yeah, I love it. Now, from inside the cockpit, Wally, these drivers have been out there racing, all the, the adrenaline of racing. Now they're sitting there, and they're thinking about <laughs> those the final couple laps. That's the thing about it. I, yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, you know, Junior's thinking about, well, let's see, where do I got to restart this thing? I got to keep, you know, Gordon sleeping on the restart and... You know, but it's not so much the guys up front. It's the guys, it's the guys like third, fourth, fifth. Those guys in the back, they're really in traffic. That's where it gets crazy. Oh, that's right, because if they see an opening, they've got to go for it because there's only two laps to go, and they know there's only two laps to go. But Bill brought up, brought up an interesting point. Now it's at 3.09 when they come by at 3.10. If NASCAR gives them the one to go and they throw the green on 3.11, 